So now that we know how to find the length of an arc given a pair of parametric equations, I thought it might be nice to do it with the circumference of a circle to confirm that result. Now a circle centered at the origin with radius r can have these parametric equations here. So let's just draw this out. So when t is 0, we'll have uh, r and 0. So starting there, and when t is pi over 2, we're going to have 0 and r. So up here, so it's tracing out a circle like that. OK, so from this point is t is 0. And obviously that's of length r. And that's of length r as well. And so what we would be expecting to find is if we were looking at s, the length of the arc, integrating between 0 and right round to 2pi, we would be expecting a result of 2pi r, OK, for the circumference of the circle, or pi times the diameter, OK? So what we need is dx by dt. So differentiating this, we're going to get minus r sine t and dy by dt, differentiating this, is r cosine t. So we're integrating between 0 and 2 pi, the square root of dx by dt all squared, so that would be r squared sine squared t, and dy by dt all squared, so plus r squared cosine squared t dt. So, let's pop in the integral there. So what we can do is we can factor out the r squared here outside of the square root, and that would just leave me with r. And inside I would be left with sine squared plus cosine squared, which is just 1. And then the square root of that, just 1. So actually, this is just going to simplify to the integral between 0 and 2 pi of r dt. So let's integrate r with respect to t. We get r t between 0 and 2 pi. And then I substitute in the limits. So substituting 2 pi, we're going to get 2 pi times r. So 2 pi r. And then substituting 0, we get 0. And so we get 2 pi r. The formula we all know and love as the circumference of a circle.